okay, so I had to do this. I mean, I didn't have to do it, but it was upsetting. I was over at, um, what is it? Um, Soul Shine Pizza in Hughes Crossing, which is right down the street from me. I decided to go down there and get me a little, I was looking for J. Ray and Nephew White over with rum, but they didn't have it, so I got some tequila, but then I got a couple little bottles or something, and then I went over to Soul Shine Pizza to get me a kitchen sink pizza. Kitchen sink, that means you throw everything in it except the kitchen sink. So it's got all the meat and all that stuff like that. But I ordered it with no cheese. A pizza from Soul Shine Pizza with no cheese, right? So I ordered that, but then I then I looked at the beer selection and there was this Muhu Chocolate Stout. Chocolate Milk Stout. I was like, well, does it actually have milk in it? Because, you know, I have this lactose issue. And if you listen very closely, you can hear my stomach. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Right. So anyway, so I looked it up to say, okay, I like the milk stout because I like dark beer. And um, yeah, does it actually have milk in it? So one of the guys at the bar is like, let me look that up and see if it actually has milk in it. And he looked it up and says, oh, the Muhu chocolate stout does not have milk in it. But, the big but, it has lactose. Well, I mean, that's my problem is lactose intolerance, not necessarily milk or dairy, but lactose. It says, it says it has the lactose sugar. I was like, okay, well, I'm not really that far from home. I'm at Soul Shine Pizza in Hughes Crossing and I live like, what, two miles to my house, a mile to the entrance, a mile getting back to us. I was like, okay, I can get home. Well, I got home. And you see where I'm sitting. And I've been sitting here for a little while. I don't know whether y'all want me to show you because I haven't looked, I haven't flushed once. And I have cleansed my innards because of lactose. Cow's milk. Who was the first dude, woman, whatever, that decided that when they saw a a cow, a calf, or whatever, milking from mama cow's teat, tit, teat, teat. I wonder if the first dude that did it decided he would go and do, or she would go and do what the calf was doing. Did they go up and just like lock on to the teat? It's like, why as human beings are we, are we drinking cow's milk? And we have cheese on everything. Why? Why? You don't see cows um, going and uh, drinking like my mama milk, human milk. How did we get into that? And thank God my body has told me that you ain't supposed to be... Um, drinking milk from a cow my body says like oh no that sh shit ain't right no pun intended because that's what's happening right now oh there's another bit wait right whoo that pile's gonna look like something after a while anyway y'all take care Woo. and it's still gurgling it's just gurgling. Can you hear that? I'm just gonna... mm. What you doing in there? I'm, I'm reading. <coughs> I'm just sitting here and it's just like is cleaning my cleansing my entire innards. Three, I had three of the Muhu 
So I cut milk stout. She said it, it doesn't have milk in it, but it has lactose. It doesn't say I'm milk intolerant, I'm lactose intolerant. So lactose, that is the one that gets me sitting here for, oh, excuse me, for, wow, until it's done. And I don't know how long that'll be. I've already been here about, what, 20 minutes already? And it's still gurgling. That's what lactose intolerance is all about. You hear that? Mm. Which is not a bad thing. It's not like it's the end of the world. It's just you, you know, you can have some big time gas. And, you know, you can come and you have to sit and it'll cleanse, I think, from head to toe. So, boy, this is kind of raw.